Hey guys, welcome to another video and today finally I'm gonna be revealing my MBA admits and rejects. So since December I was telling you guys that hey guys look I've applied to some MBA universities, some MBA programs and I've received some admits and at the same time I've also received some amazing amazing scholarships but I did not tell you which ones. Now disclaimer before we actually get into the video I'll tell you for some personal reasons I only applied to the universities which gave me a full application fee waiver. I did not go ahead and apply to universities which were basically charging me $200 for the application fee just because I was not really interested in going to such universities in the first place. I was only interested in getting the admits first off. And secondly, I would also let you know that, you know, most of these admits I have already relinquished. I have relinquished my seats. So most probably I have not really cho chosen any one of these universities. But what I have done is I have given the seat to some other applicant. Okay, so with that said, you will definitely not see the top five MBA programs over here because generally, like I said, as long as they did not offer me one of those application fee waivers, I was not really keen on spending a thousand dollars just on the application fees. Okay. Now, with that said, I'll actually go ahead and start telling you about my admits and rejects. I'll also show you some screenshots. Most of those, I already have the screenshots. So I'll actually take you to my dashboard first, just to tell you a little bit more about my profile. Okay. So you can see my profile over here. I have a 9.2 GPA. I have one research paper. Actually, I have two over here. It should have been two. Anyway, so there's zero backlogs and there's about 25 months of work experience that I have. And apart from that, you can see that, you know, my scores are over here. Some universities already waived off the GRE, but still, I believe my score was pretty good. So I did not care about it. I still mentioned it in my applications. I still sent the scores. Okay. Now decisions, I will move on to this tab in a bit. First off, I'll give you the decisions one by one because I think that's just so, so, so important. So in this video, you also see that one technique that I'm going to tell you about is negotiation. The amount of scholarship you get, it's not always going to be the final scholarship. You can always negotiate and go ahead and get more. Okay, so let me actually take you to the first admit over here. And the first one you will see is University of San Francisco. Let me bring over here. As you can see, I've hidden any information of the staff or of the university's personnel that have sent me this thing, or I believe this is a screenshot directly from their portal. So it was not really mentioned over there anyway. So that sort of information will be, of course, hidden from you guys. Okay. Because I don't really want any names on here. So you can see that congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to the University of San Francisco full-time MBA program for fall 2021, da, 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 da. And at the same time, you have a full-time MBA scholarship. Then merit scholarship, that's $10,000 scholarship award, 5,000 each for the next two semesters. And maybe I could have negotiated and gotten more, but you know, I was not really keen on USF in the first place. So I left it out. So, you know, that's one of these, again, I'll give you the exact dates of the admission and the date I applied and the date I actually got this as well in a bit. Okay. Then there's the next one, which is Babson. Now, if you do not know Babson, it's actually the number one college for entrepreneurship in the US. And let me actually get you the screenshot over here. Like I said, I've removed any personal information of the people who have sent me this email. And you will see that, you know, in this case, I got congratulations on your admission and $30,000 per year scholarship. That's $60,000 in total. Now the program it's in itself costs around $100,000. So I got a pretty good scholarship over here, the two year MBA program at Babson's FW Olin graduate school of business. And I believe it's also one of the best, best schools out there. If you are into entrepreneurship, building products, and really not really in going into consulting or let's say into investment banking, something like that, which most MBA graduates are interested in. But if you're just interested in launching your own startup, launching your own ventures, Babson is probably the right place for you. So yes, amazing scholarship over here. And actually, you know, you will see that you can always negotiate. I actually did negotiate a little bit and I was able to get it to $60,000. Okay. I'm sure that some students actually get it more because I talked to some alumni who mentioned that they can even get up to $80,000. So it's very well possible. The possible reason that I may not have been able to negotiate it up towards the 80,000 mark is maybe because um, this year they did not have that much funding or secondly, maybe because my work experience was a little bit lower as compared to the average MBA applicant. Okay. So keeping that in mind, we'll move on to the next one. And that is Bentley University. Over here, you will see that I was, again, this is the final screenshot after I've done all the negotiations, just to be sure. I was given, you know, basically a 50% scholarship at first, but then I, I actually negotiated and they say, I'm pleased to let admissions committee has reviewed your credentials and would like to offer you a 70% scholarship award. So 70% of my tuition 
waved off. I don't have to pay it. I only have to pay 30% of the tuition. Isn't that amazing? That's the kind of results that we also get for other clients as well. Now, the only difference is because they are clients, I can't really show you their results. So I wanted to show you my own results because these are mine. I can go ahead. I can easily show you the results. I can show you the exact screenshots. I can show you the exact timestamps as well. So it's very well possible for me to do that with you guys, right? Because these are my own mission tricks. But in case you would like to work with us that's something that we would will be very happy to help you we're more than equipped as you can see there's also another one cornell but i do not have a screenshot for that i got the admit but there was no scholarship i tried to negotiate but then you know they were not really doing anything about that they were not really offering any scholarship to me so what i did i, I just withdrew my application and i tried to log into the cornell portal but apparently it says your application has been withdrawn so i can't really show you the screenshot over there anyway so these are the screenshots but apart from that, you can see that these are the admission rejects. These are the exact dates of my applications and these are the exact dates of my decision. One thing to note over here is because you guys were actually, you know, I ran an Instagram poll, what kind of a video would you like me to make next? And you guys mentioned, hey, look, we want the MBA admission. And this was going on for a couple of months now because every week I try to try to bring in one video from you guys, you know, like the suggestion that you ask for. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> I did not, uh, I, ha I haven't received all of them. I believe there's still one or two decisions that are pending. So I may want to add to these later on. So I may have a second part of this video if I get one of these. Maybe at least if I get the admits, it's probably worth it, right? But I did not get a reject as of now because I only applied to these universities and I got through all of these as of now. But I think it's pretty amazing because personally, being in this field, I know that this work experience factor this is a major, major point of importance. And the universities don't really appreciate MBA, MBA applicants who don't have more than at least at least three years of experience. That's what they usually like to see, at least three years. But in my case, I was able to you know, easily get around that, still get all the admits. And I'll be very frank with you, I did not spend a lot of time in my applications because I was working on you guys and your applications for, for the most part. So yeah, that's that's uh, one more point. These are the admit rejects from one of the previous terms that I applied in you know fall 2019. I believe I applied for you know that's if some of you have been following me for a long time. You'll already know that. But you know these are the latest ones, top four. Okay, so I've already added these. You can actually go ahead check out my resume as well if you'd like. I'll I'll leave the link to that in the description. Again, as long as you're interested in checking out more admission rejects you know people add these over here every single day so go ahead check out the admission rejects of other people as well while you're at it and thank you so much for being here thank you so much for all your support all the time that you watch the videos i believe i appreciate I, I truly appreciate every single one of you and every single one of your minute that you spend with me over here so thank you so much for watching i hope that this gives you some more impetus even if you don't really have a lot of work experience you can get in and you know if you'd like to get in touch with me you can do so over my instagram if you would like to connect with me regarding these services you can check out the services page over here and if you would like more help or anything else that we can do for you subscribe to the channel let me know what the next video should be on and I'll be very happy to do it for you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye and take care for now.